Is, does anything happen outside of Allah's will? No. So if I, if I don't believe in Allah, is that because it's Allah's will that I don't believe? Do you see the difference? Yeah? So in our faith, God wills the good because he is good. In your faith, God wills what he wants because God is all sovereign. Muhammad Hijab said that there is a tsunami of apostasy. These are the words of your own Dai. Is unbelief something that Allah creates in the person? He says no. His Quran says yes. to hell yeah. for something that Allah so makes you do. Is that correct? He gave you a natural intellect though. But so you in your life right now, Bob, you in your life right now, this might be a, a message to you that on the day of judgment, Allah is going to gather everyone together. Everyone. Yeah. And he's going to judge between them yeah. who did right and who did wrong. Yeah. A believer, Muslims of Islam in the 21st century have hijacked this point that a Muslim, a believer, is someone who uh, 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 accepts um, Islam. Yes. Yeah? A believer is somebody who believes in the oneness of God. Does believes the devil in believe in the oneness of God? Yeah, he does. So is the devil a believer? But the devil, he refused to bow down when God told him in front of his face. So the point That's is, the belief in one... So, so, so let's, let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation. So the, the issue with what you've got is that... The, the issue that with what you've got is that, firstly, Belief in one God ain't all that. That's the reality. Because even, even the devil believes in one God. One second. Even the devil believes in one God and he is still going to hell. There are many monotheists who according to your belief and my belief are going to hell. So belief in one God ain't all that. There's something more important than belief in one God. But the other problem, the other problem, what's, no, what's more important, what's more important yeah. is, is submission to his will. That's, that's more Islam important. Is. But that's, but that's more important than belief in one God. Bro, that's what so, a Muslim is. No. A Muslim is no, 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 no. No, 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 they don't. No, they don't. Yes, they do. But, but, you don't know but, 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 I probably know more about Islam than you do. No, you don't. Yeah, well, we'll see. You probably do. So, uh, yes, I probably do. I probably do. Because remember, two minutes ago, you were saying, I'm not educated enough to talk to you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. So, so when I say I'm more educated in Islam than you, you should believe it, because I am. Right. So, so here's the problem. That, that blood fire is exploring. Okay. Allah says in his holy book that nothing happens except that he wills it. So if someone doesn't believe in Allah, that is Allah's will. Now, is it, would it be right of a ruler to, one second, one second, you're, I'm not questioning Yahweh, I'm questioning the sock puppet of Muhammad, the true God. So let me answer you this question. If Allah compels you to do something, is it right that he punishes you for doing it? No, no, it's a fair question. You're running away. You are running away. You're running away. But you're running away from the problem in your religion. If a king, if this government forced you to do X, but then sent you to prison for doing X, would that be a just or an unjust government? If they, if they do bad to you and they do good to you. Did you understand the question, sir? You understood the yeah. question. Did you understand the question? Yeah. So to under did you understand the He understood the question. So let's ask it again. If a government forces you to do X, but then because you did X, sent you to prison, would that government be just or unjust? Unjust. So if Allah forces you to do something and then punishes you and then punishes you for doing it, is that just? Do you, do you understand the problem? Do you understand the problem? Do you understand the problem? Answer the question. Go on. You're comparing government organizations to the kingdom of Allah as you were So it's an analogy. And answer my question. We don't know about the stations of Allah and what, what he's prepared in the hereafter. We have no clue. Exactly. So here's the image that you're... But this is the problem. Here is the image, and I'm going to explain why it's a problem. I'm going to explain. I'm not questioning my God, I'm questioning your God. And your book invites me to do so. 
your book says, listen to what the Quran says. Firstly, when it says the Quran is being recited, it says, pay heed that thou may obtain mercy. Secondly, it says in the Quran that if they, meaning the people of the book, uh, were to find, if they were to examine this book and if it were from any other than Allah, they would find contradictions in it. So the Quran invites me to find contradictions in it and the, uh, with the belief that I won't be able to. Right. So you've just condemned, you've just condemned a government for making you do X, but then punishing you for doing X. But you believe that Allah makes you do X, but then will punish you for doing X. That's what you've just said. Right. Does, is, does anything happen outside of Allah's will? No. So if I, if I don't believe in Allah, is that because it's Allah's will that I don't believe? Basically, I'm an you know. There was a guy, in the, this is a hadith as well. Yeah. There's a guy in the middle of a jungle. Yeah. And all his life, he's lived in a jungle. And yeah. when he dies, God will send him to the hellfire. Why? Because God says to him, Didn't you reflect, O servant of mine? Yeah. Upon who made the skies? Yeah. Upon who made the ocean? Yeah. Upon who made this creation? Yeah. Didn't you reflect upon who was the creator of it? Yeah. So, in other words, the main, main thing for us is to reflect, and if you don't reflect, then you're doomed. You understand? Yeah, but you that's, haven't actually answered the question. That's, that's what I'm trying to say to you. God has gave you natural intellect. Right, so let's... God let, has gave you natural no, intellect. No, but the question okay, is, you, you believe I believe you, you, I have a natural intellect. I'm convinced I have a natural intellect. So, so my point to you is, the Quran states that nothing happens except by the will of Allah, that he opens the chest of whom he wills to accept Islam, and he closes the chest of whom he wills to accept Islam, that he shrouds, he puts a cloak over their sight though, so that they cannot see. Oh, this is what's in the Quran, isn't it? Right, so I'm not lying about the Quran. So that means that if I don't believe in Allah, it's because of Allah's will. Is that true? It's because of your own self too. Because so it's not because of Allah's will. Very fast, fast topic, and um, I'm sure someone will be able to explain to you in proper details. I, I, I don't really want to say something wrong. Let's ask the question another way because everyone can see you equivocating, right? Everyone can see you equivocating, but let's ask the question in another way Is there something that can happen independent of Allah's will? No, right? So if Allah makes you do something and then punishes you for it, I say to you that that God is a fickle, unjust God. That the God of the Quran is fickle and unjust. And you accept that because if a government behaved like Allah, you would condemn the government. Do you be your belief to be mine, yeah? Do you be your belief to me be mine? Listen, you believe that the almighty, powerful creator was a baby at a stage. You're trying to change the topic. I'm not changing the topic. You're trying to change the topic. It's always about the Quran. But you people believe in something hell rasa and disgusting. Trying to change the topic. You're trying to get off the topic. Everyone will watch you trying to get off the topic. That's not what we're talking about. Is he changing the topic? Is he changing the topic? 2191. So what was 2191? Breathing inside the vagina of Mary. Well, yeah. But that's that's playing his game. He's jumping off the topic. That's playing his game. I'll tell you something else. Allah says in the Quran that they try to distinguish malak with their tongues. But they'll fail to do so. Allah's light will prevail. There, there's apostasy happening across the world of Islam right now. Apostasy happening. It's happening in Somalia. It's happening in Iran. It's happening in Indonesia. It's happening in Saudi Arabia. It's happening in, it's happening in Egypt. So you, here's why you're running away. Here's why you're running away. You're, you're running away from the topic and everyone can see you're running away from the topic. You're, you're talking to me. And when you try to talk to other people, you're running away. And when you try to change the topic, you're running away. So, so, let, let me, yeah, I, I am. So let me explain to you a fundamental difference. Yeah, you're talking to me. Let, let, let me explain a, a fundamental difference. Here's your opportunity. Here's, here's your opportunity to grow in knowledge. Okay. I'm going to tell you a fundamental difference between Islamic theology and Christian theology. In Islamic theology, the will of Allah is supreme. Allah does what he wants because his sovereignty is over everything. But in the Christian faith, God does that which is good because God himself is good. And so he only wills the good. 
Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? Yeah? So in our faith, God wills the good because he is good. In your faith, God wills what he wants because God is all sovereign. And that is a fundamental difference between the God of Christianity and the God of Islam. Your God is a fickle, unjust God. And he, your God is a fickle, unjust God. And you agree with me? And, and you uh, agree with me? You would condemn a government. Would you condemn a government if the government passed laws to make people do good things? Every sun, every grain of sun. No, we wouldn't. But if God, if a government passed laws to make you do something and then punished you for doing it, that's injustice. Agreed? 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 See, everybody agrees. And you agreed with me. When I talked about the government, you said, yes, that would be unjust. So the only difference is that I use the word government rather than God. So when I replaced Allah with the word government, he agreed that that was unjust. But then when I put Allah back into the sentence, then he said, oh no, Allah does what he wants. No, 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 no. We hear and we obey. It's the difference between Muslims and Christians. We listen and we obey. We don't go further and question it. You don't you know anything Muslim. about the you Christian faith. You got tell, tell, what, you don't know anything about the Christian faith. You, you don't know anything about, what, what, what do Christians believe? Tell me what Christians believe. Go on. Someone who believes Jesus is the prophet of God. That's the Messiah. That, that's, 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 not, that's not a sufficient explanation. I know Christians that believe in that. And we, we Every think, Christian we are, we, believes that Jesus was a man who was a prophet. But that is not a sufficient explanation. That's like saying, yes, I do believe that. You don't know what I believe. Was he the son of God? Yes. And that's why I said it wasn't a sufficient explanation. You see, you need to listen more. That's why you don't know what Christians believe. Because you don't listen. You've got your little script that all the dawah puppets here use and once you've used your script, you're out of bullets. You've got nothing to say. And in Indonesia, Christianity is growing. In Iran, Christianity is growing. In Saudi Arabia, Christianity is growing. In Sudan, Christianity is growing. Christianity is growing across the Islamic world. Across the Islamic world. Across the Islamic world. Islam is rotting from within. It is rotting from within. Even your own. Even your own. Even your own. Even your own Dawah gun. Muhammad Hijab said that there is a tsunami of apostasy. Ali Dawah said there is a tsunami of apostasy. These are the words of your own Dai. All nice rhetoric, but doesn't deal with any of the facts. It's all nice rhetoric, but none of it deals with the facts. So, so what we've got is the fact that you believe that your God is unjust and fickle. And you believe that your God... What do I believe about my God? Yes, I do. Yeah. But here's the difference. Well, the I have no shame in my beliefs. Yeah, He's embarrassed by his. Because in one sentence, yeah. he said that Allah was unjust and in the next one, he took it back. Because I gave you... Listen, I'll tell you when. I'll tell you when. Listen, this is what happened. I gave him the same sentence. And all I did is replace one word. The sentence was, if Allah commands you to do something, but then punishes you for doing it, is that unjust? The word that I replaced was the word Allah. And I replaced it with the word government. And I said, if a government forces you to do something, but then punishes you for doing it, would that government be unjust? Yes or no? Yes. yes. So there you go. Yeah. You're admitting that your God is unjust. Yeah. And you're hiding behind a word. All 
I did is replace one word in the same sentence and in one sentence you condemn your God and in the next sentence you defend your God. Come forward, uncle. You don't know God. Go on, Angle. So, now, now, in our example, you agreed with me, you agreed with me, that it would be unjust for a government to force you to do something, but then punish you for doing it. That is unjust, agreed? Great. Now, in the Quran, everything happens according to Allah's will, yes? Yes, but what do you mean by the will? Allah's will is sovereign. Yes, but that doesn't mean that he's forcing us. Right, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Blood fire! Blood fire! What was the passage that you were debating? The one that says that even unbelief comes from Allah. 10 100. Let's look at what your Quran says. The problem with your understanding, not with the words. Okay. Let's look at what the Quran says. Because I contend that the God of Islam and the God of Christianity, the God of Islam and the God of Christianity are different. Okay. The God of this book is a fickle and unjust God who forces you to do something, who forces you to do it. Let me finish. Let me finish. We will talk. We'll do it. We will talk. I will let you speak. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. So that the God of the Quran is a fickle and unjust God. He Don't does what he Don't wills. Don't preach, but in the Bible, the God of the Bible commands that which is good because he himself is good. Okay, so there's the difference. In Islam, the will of Allah is sovereign and all-powerful and it, it is separate to anything else above everything else. Okay. In Christianity, the will of God flows from himself and himself is good. Blood fire, sorry, blood fire. Blood fire. Blood, blood fire. 100 and what? Surah 10, 10, 100. Can I answer this? Go on. Does Jesus allow the murder that happens in this earth? He's allowing it or not? By his will. He, he permits it in his wider will. Okay, so he's permitting something evil. Okay, so let's right? deal with that. Let's deal with that because it's a good counterpoint. That's not good. Let's deal with that. He's permitting to be, people to die uh, of cancer. He's, he's permitting people killing each other. In let, the let, let's deal with that. It's a good point. It's a good point. I'm uh, commending your point. I'm commending your point because it's a good point. But what I'm saying to you is that you're using a defense that is proper to the theology of Christianity, not the theology of the Quran. This is the theology. No, it's not. That's the point. No, it, it, this is the difference. This is the difference. The theology of the Bible is different from the theology of the Quran. Listen to what the Quran actually says. No soul can believe except by the will of Allah. No soul can believe except by the will of Allah. So that means that the will of Allah is sovereign. It is above all other things, above commendations of good and bad. This is what Allah says. This is what Allah says. And he will place doubt on those who will not understand. So Allah is responsible for people not believing. Agreed? No. So you're contradicting your Quran. What does this mean then? What does this verse mean? Allah will. Hey, hey, listen. I wanted to record this fake Christian. He tells people to believe in stupid Jesus. Allah says in other verses. When did our father call his son Jesus? Read the whole Quran to understand. You cannot take one verse. Okay. In other verses, he says. Show me another verse. وَمَا تَشَاءُونَ إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءُ Whatever you you will is by the will of God. Whatever you will is by the will of God. That confirms my argument. Okay, wait, it doesn't wait, wait, disprove wait, wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. Let me explain. I just compared yeah. it. It means that even if Can you see? I'm talking to him. Okay. No one's talking to you. I'm talking to him. No, Go no, on. No, 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 no. Just ignore him. You get these people. Uncle, you okay, get these people okay. from time to time. You just got to press on through. I see you on YouTube. 
Uh, uh, other verse. Yeah. yeah, Uncle, you just just let me stand there and you stand here. No, no. Right, go on, Uncle. Jesus is a go on, just talk to me, Uncle. Jesus. Other verses. Maybe I did not pick the right uh, verse because this verse is also uh, explains the same thing that what you said. But Thank you. Other, but other verses. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm, not a, I'm not a scholar, yeah? I'm just trying to... Yes. Another person says that if you wish as an evil man, let's say, if you are an evil man, yeah. as this believer, yeah. wishes to do something harm, yes. Allah will make it easy for you. Okay. Wait, wait. Yes. On the, on the other side, if you are a pious person and want to do something good, yeah. also Allah will make it easy for you. Can you show me in the Quran? Part, part, yeah, pull it up. Let's let's have a look at it. Because because in your it, what we've got is we you, even one of the own verses that you gave the one where it says Allah will what well, how did you phrase it I don't want to misquote you Allah will something your will. No 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 the the first verse the one that supports my argument. The one, which in English? Yes. Right. Listen. Listen. Wait. 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 wait, wait. No, no. No. I, I'm speaking. I just wanted to make sure I didn't misquote you. So, even the verse that you gave states that whatever you will is by the will of Allah, and therefore the other verse that you gave that said if you are a pious person, Allah will make it easy for you, and if you are an unrighteous person. Allah will make it easy for you, still falls within the fact that both your piety and your unrighteousness are Allah's will. Which, yes, which means that it is unjust for Allah to punish you for something that He made you do. Now, if you are an evil person, and Allah makes it easy for you to kill, this, let's say, this man next to you, because he made it easy for you to carry the gun and kill the person, an innocent person. Yes. He made it easy. Would that be unjust? Right. Would that be unjust? Allah is unjust, yes. For, do, for, for making it easy for you. That's your will. You want to kill him. Allah's, you no. To kill him. But your Quran doesn't say that. Wait, wait, wait. But you want to kill him, right? But that will, I'm dealing with your argument. But that will is given to you by Allah. Of course. Of course. But he gave you both. Of course. But he gave you both. He gave you a will to do things good, okay. and he gave you a will to do things bad. Right, so you can understand the contrast. Can so I get some water, is, please? You are free. Thank you. You are free to do, to choose whatever <laughs> will you want. Okay, so, so let me... No, uh, it's all right, I'll hold it, thank you. So, so let me, let me... So, so you are free, that's freedom of choice. You are free, that's what, what that means, the verse means that Allah gave you the freedom wait, of wait, choice. Wait, which verse? Can, can you show me in the Quran where you've got free will? So, so my point to you is, Uncle, and I want to, I want to highlight the difference, because we Christians believe in God's wider will. We believe that God. Allow me to finish. I'm explaining the difference. We Christians believe in God's wider will. We believe that God, by His wider will has given you genuine autonomy, genuine freedom of will, so that you are responsible for your actions. You choose your actions, and God commands the good because He is good, not that something is good because God commands it. Do you hear the difference? God commands that which is good because it is good and it is good because it is from within the nature of God. God himself is good. But in Islam, but in Islam, okay. What is the concept of the will of God there? Both of you to agree on it and then you discuss. Please. It's a fair question. Yeah, talk to each other. yeah, it's a fair question. Can you see Jesus? Hang on. on the concept. Yes. Jesus is the son of, concept of God. No, yeah. the concept of Can the will see? of God. The will of God. Jesus okay. is a big. We believe. Yeah. The will is God. Yeah. The will of Take God is not an enforcement will. Yeah. 
It's a way related to his knowledge. Well, that's your understanding. That's yeah. not the concern. No, no that's not according to Muslims. Yeah. What we believe as Muslims, it's the will of God is not an enforcing will that uh, enforces you to do things bad or to do things good. Is unbelief bad? Yeah, look at right. Him, yeah. he allowed it. Can you see? Right, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Because let's let's look at what the Quran actually says. Let's let's what Uncle, you just have to ignore him. He's never he's, you just ignore him. You just ignore him. You should be ashamed of yourself. If you don't repent, you will perish. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah? Okay. So the uncle admits the uncle I'm gonna talk to you guys so you can hear me. I'm talking to you, but I'm projecting my voice for everybody. Okay? So, the uncle agrees that unbelief is a bad thing. Unbelief is a bad thing. He agrees. Now, the question is, is unbelief something that Allah creates in the person? He says no. His Quran says yes. Listen to what the Quran says. No soul can believe except by the will of Allah and he will place doubt on those who will not understand. So the Quran, he says yes. So the Quran is saying that Allah is the author of unbelief. No. So he's now saying it isn't. Wait, wait, wait. So what you does this liar. verse mean? You are a liar. Okay, what does this verse mean? Listen, listen. There is a difference between enforcing a will or knowing what you're gonna do in the future. Doesn't say no. Look at this verse. What we, what we believe that God's will is based on his knowledge, not based on his enforcement. Uncle. I want you. I want you to deal with this verse. I'm trying to explain to you. No, I want you to deal with what this verse means. Tell me what this verse means. That you will not believe, except if Allah wills. That means that you have to do. The, uh, no. Let's say. I tell you. I tell you what. What What does this verse mean? It means that no person yep. will be believer yes. except when Allah allows this to happen. But, but, right. let, let me Go on. but when will Allah allow this to happen is when you yourself step to the, let's say, the message, read the Quran, yep. do something that yep. proves that you are sincere and you are you want the guidance yes but if you don't want the guidance he will not give it to you okay show me show me in the Quran. so what we've established is that we aren't misinterpreting surah 10 ayah 100 it does mean sorry someone's chucking crap at someone else once again a muslim is assaulting a christian in the park once again a Muslim is assaulting a Christian in the park. He, he spit, the, guy, the Christian spit on the Muslim. Oh, you know that from here? You were looking at me the whole time. The Muslim was doing this in his face. You know? Brother, uncle, you didn't even see the incident. I saw the incident. I saw the Muslim doing it like that. And this is what we're up against. Even though the uncle didn't even see the event, he was looking at me the whole time. He's saying from this distance, he knows what happened. Guys, you've got to understand, the Muslim Ummah will always lie to the defense of the Muslim Ummah. They will work to defend. He could be sweating. He could, he took water on the Christian, he might have splashed back on him. You, how, where's your proof that he spat? I saw it, he took it, I saw it with my own eyes. No, I was looking over there, uncle. I was looking over there, the camera will show. So, what we've established, is that we're not misinterpreting this verse in the Quran. Allah is responsible for unbelief. That's what it says here. You said so. I told you. Right, show me a verse. Show me another verse. Show me another verse. Let me explain. The will of Allah is not an enforcement will. Show me. Show me a verse, uncle. I know what you said. Show me a verse. Show me a verse. Where? Wait, go on. Go on. Show me the verse. Find me the verse. Please. Go to 55. Surah 55. Okay. 
I think yeah. I'm not sure, but I think. Yeah. And what are your uncle? Uh, there is no compulsion in religion. Where, where, let, let, where, where, where is that? <laughs> now, I want to explain while you've uh, gone. The cow, the cow. Which one's that? 256. Two, Surah 2, 56. Surah 2, I have 56. All right, let's go to it. There aren't 256 surahs. Which surah? Second surah, 256. Let me get there. Okay. I like you, uncle. You're, you're able to have an intelligent conversation. Okay. Surah 2, 56. Okay. So, it says, let there be no compulsion in religion. Truth stands out clear from error. Whoever rejects evil and believes in Allah hath grasped the most trustworthy handhold that never breaks, and Allah heareth and knoweth all things. Brilliant. Right. So there is no compulsion. Cont let, let, go on. That's it. Right. That's so, so does it not also say in, and you could maybe help me find the surah. Is there not also a surah in the Quran where it says, and Allah opens the chest of whom he wills to receive Islam and he closes the chest of whom as if he is ascending into the sky. Uh, yes. which, which surah and ayah is this please? Now, just for, for the sake of those of you watching, the, uh, go on. Which, which is? I don't know a number, but it's ayah 125. 125 of which uh, ayah? Right, bear with us. Surah 6. 125. 125. Because what I want to show to you is that the theology of the Quran asserts the will of Allah as the supreme thing above everything else. It's independent of everything else. What? 155. 125. 125. Let me just show you. Surah 6, 125. 125. Okay. Those whom Allah willeth to guide, he openeth their breast to Islam. Those whom he willeth to leave straying unbelief, he maketh their breasts close and constricted as if they had to climb up to the skies. Thus does Allah heap the penalty on those who refuse to believe. So Allah is responsible for your belief or unbelief. After you make your choice. No, the, the scriptures. After. Allah says he is the one that puts yes. doubt in your heart. You Surah 10, 100. It doesn't say if you choose. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. Yes. Right, so that one, no compulsion. How do Muslims use this idea of no compulsion in religion? They're talking about the idea of putting a dagger to someone's throat and saying, accept Islam or die. That is what they mean by let there be no compulsion in religion. That is what... Oh, so you... Are you saying that I'm wrong? That Muslims are okay with putting daggers to throats and saying... Yeah, I'm saying that's forbidden in Islam. Thank you. And that's what the verse that you've read is talking about. Thank you. Yes, that's what he's talking about. By force. By Allah's compulsion. Allah does not enforce. And you're contradicting your Quran. You're contradicting your Quran. So. In the Quran, yes. there is sound verses. Yes. And there is uh, so verses that have many names. Yes. You understand? Yes. 
So we have to take the verses that are, have ma many meanings. Yes. We need to and bring it back to the song. So you, you use them all. Right, so show me one verse in the Quran. Show, no one's running from you. You're just a child. So, you're just a child. I think you're ill. Uncle, let's take a couple of steps that way.